All right, so these videos are some of my favorite. This is a brand new 5G gateway that just came out and it's nicknamed the main event. Now, this is for 5G home internet or mobile internet for that matter. It can travel and work on the road. And I've covered lots of content on AT&T home internet, or they call it internet air, Verizon home internet, and T-Mobile home internet. This is some of their gateways. I've modified them to get the best type of speed and signal out of them by adding things like external antennas to it. But the best way I found to get the fastest speed out there and have the most flexibility is what I call a third party gateway. So this would be a gateway that you get and you take the SIM card out of your unit if you have like a home internet or if you get a data plan or whatnot like a tablet data plan you can get a SIM card and then that is something you can put into here. Now this um, box is the new one and as you can tell the box fits on top of the old one or this is another um, option out there. So this one here is a Chester Cheetah and I really enjoyed these. They are a bit large. Um, obviously they do have lots of antennas on them um, but they're very functional now. The case is just a generic case that you can buy um, you know directly from a vendor but the important part is the guts inside of it. So based off the feedback I think you know this um, Chester Tech Repairs um, is in New York. He assembles the stuff, orders it, helps work on the firmware. But he's got a lot of feedback from a lot of the customers that uh, he's um, sold them to. So this new one here is uh, has a couple things. Let me just open it up and show you. Okay, so in the box, what you get is a little instruction card that tells you um, go to his website. There's a guide on there. There's lots of information. How do you get like IP pass through and other stuff? You can also watch my videos. I tend to go through a lot of that. It gives the default IP address and password. You get a business card. Now, the important part about the business card is that not only does it have a phone number on it, uh, but the website's great because he has live chat support. So he's actually really good at going in there and responding to a live chat pretty much any time of the day. Um, and then you get your order receipt in here. But the main event, of course, is this guy. Now it's about five inches by seven inches and it has several key features that have been asked for over time. This little plastic cover comes off. One of the coolest things about this one is this 5G logo is actually a mesh vent for the fan that's inside of it. So one of the ways that it's gotten the smaller form factor versus the uh, the cheetah is because it has active cooling or has a fan that actually works on it. These other ones do not have a fan, but they have a larger heat sink and with the extra space, they're able to not overheat. But when you make it smaller, you get less airflow um, in here naturally, you add the fan and that can make up for it. Now. The other thing that it has is four Ethernet ports. Instead, a lot of the other ones have two Ethernet ports, like you know these stock uh, gateways do. And this uh, one of the ports is a 2.5 gig port. The other ones are one gig ports. Uh, the other thing back here is the dual SIM card. So it actually has uh, two slots. Now it does not have two modems, so it's only going to use one of these SIM cards at a time. But you could have it go over there and uh, switch. You could tell which SIM card to be using. So if you had an AT&T and a T-Mobile one, for example, you could switch between those carriers as you needed to for signal or for um, data, you know, speed, performance, that kind of stuff. Now, it's got uh, these little red things come off, obviously, and that shows you your SMA connectors, which you then screw in your antenna. So this one has six antennas, four of them. Are for the cellular and then two of them are for the Wi-Fi it is AX 3000 so that's a, um, a good uh, Wi-Fi 6 um, speed there all right so here's it with the antenna screwed in there so you can get a good idea of the overall shape now these antennas can of course um, rotate uh, if you if you need them to or if you know if you want to stand this upright something like that you could do that now um, it comes with the power adapter here this is also a bit smaller than some of the past ones so it's really um, you know being a smaller more uh, compact unit here uh, same type of information here now inside of it is a overclocked um, chipset and that is going to give you the best performance it also has the option of two of the most popular modems that Chester sells 
and those are the X or the Snapdragon um, SDX um, 62 and then the SDX 75. Now the 75 is something I have not been able to find through most other places. That is uh, one of the better uh, modems that is out there today and it, the, the key thing about it is with the same signal or the same tower a better modem is going to pull down more speed because it can basically make more connections to the tower so that's where this one here this uh, cheetah x75 i've gotten over one gigabit per second of download speed very impressive this one should be able to get that same performance one of the things i really like about this is that even though it has more features it's more compact it actually has really great pricing still so I have a coupon code Nader Tater that you can type in at checkout and get the links down below uh, for how to get to his website. And then with my code, it'll get you $45 off. And that puts us right at $350. That includes free shipping, includes his tech support uh, that he provides. So that's a really competitive price. That's for the X62 modem. It is um, more expensive to go to the X75 modem. And it is faster and better, but the X62 is equivalent to what is in most of these other units from the, um, you know, the ISPs that provide it. Now, the difference with this, though, is that you can do band locking. You can do uh, 5G SA locking, which some of these carriers like T-Mobile just started getting into. 5G SA, 5G standalone. Um, I do really like that. If you have that, it gives you lower ping, faster performance. With these units, you can force it onto that as long as your tower has it. You can um, set up uh, custom uh, IMEI, TTLs, all types of different things there that you might need for your specific settings on a gateway. This allows you to do it. So now if you have any specific questions, do put them down in the comments below. I read the comments and uh, I too try to respond to those. Now I will of course be doing some testings. The speed of this should be, as far as I know, the same as the Cheetah, it's just a smaller form factor. Uh, but I'll, I of course will need to test that and, and verify that. So that's will be up next. But if you have something specific you want me to test, please do put it in the comments below. I will uh, take that into consideration and look at doing something else. Now if you haven't already, please do make sure you hit that like button on the video just down below and then also consider subscribing to my channel so that I get more viewers and then that helps the channel grow and I can keep doing this so I appreciate everyone tuning in I'm excited to find out um, what's next in the 5g internet space so thanks take care don't forget to hit that like button